Hello everyone and welcome to Film Sandwich. I'm Kid Ron Burgundy. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we're gonna see, you know, th there's the war in Ukraine right yeah. now, and there's a lot of media people out there doing news spots and things, videographers just like you. In danger. And we wanna see what gear, what production gear could possibly stop a bullet in yeah. a wartime situation. Like lenses, a like, radio pack. We got lenses here, we got a, uh, Mirrorless GH5, we got some uh, mic packs. An iMac metal. Yep. We got some L glass here. Yeah, so let's just make it happen. Yep, um, so we're just gonna go out to the range and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. Don't look into some of your eyes open. Because there's no right way or wrong way, there's just my way, which is the right way. Isn't that right? Here we are at the gun range, and we're gonna find out today, for all the media people in Ukraine, what's gonna stop a bullet? Do not listen to Mark. The contents of this video are for entertainment purposes only, and are not meant to be taken seriously as none of the items about to be quote tested unquote will do anything to stop a bullet. Except for maybe the Mac stand, that thing is solid. So yeah, don't listen to Mark. Side effects of listening to Mark may include nausea, fatigue, stress, dizziness, constipation, diarrhea, blindness, drowsiness, insomnia, tinnitus, memory loss, weight gain, weight loss, rash, fever, sweating, vomiting, weakness, temporary paralysis of the extremities, hearing loss, redness, swelling, bruising, internal bleeding, external bleeding, head trauma, vertigo, hallucinations, motion sickness, high blood pressure, ulcers, inability to urinate, arthritis, hypoglycemia, memory loss, headache, heat exhaustion, and death. Please consult your common sense before engaging in listening to Mark. Because, you know, we have camera lenses, radio packs, tape, beer, and also a computer. You might be behind a computer editing. See if this stops a bullet, because I'm pretty sure they all will stop a bullet. And to help us out, it's Mike McGowan, who's in charge of safety and all that disclaimer stuff we gotta put in these videos. So, what do you think? Do you think this stuff's gonna stop some bullets or what? No, do not use that as body armor. I don't think we should listen to the safety guy who has over 100 million years of training and all the certificates. I'm sure these will probably stop the bullet, probably like this, this will stop a bullet. Do not hide behind that, that is not cover. No, so. It's not even concealment. This will, this will probably stop a bullet. No? Don't tell people that. Don't tell no, that's bad? Well, that's why he's here for safety. And what would you recommend if uh, people in media are in Ukraine right now? I don't know. Something like this. Would that stop a bullet? Stop a 30 odd six. What is that? It's a level four armor. It's a new Israeli like composite type stuff. Like it will stop 30 odd six. It'll knock your ass into the next county, but the bullet will not go inside you. Uh, I don't so you think got you that going for all it. that money. I think the gear will protect you. Probably that beer. You drink enough beer. of them, you won't feel it. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> With a high speed camera. All right. Well, Ron, because Ron's on camera. Thank Hi guys. Hi. You can't see me. <laughs> what do you think we should start first? Should we do the camera, or the lens first, or what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe start small and work our way up. Ever wonder if this would stop a nine millimeter bullet? What is that? Rhodes wireless mic. It's a Rode wireless go to. Oh, dang, dude. This totally stopped the bullet, I think. Well, is that, did it go through? Our expert here, what do you think? Did that stop a bullet? Nope, won't stop a bullet. This will stop a bullet, guaranteed. What do you think, expert? No? Whatever, what does he know? Expert my ass. No, oh man, I'm sure that was bulletproof. I mean, oh, maybe not, I don't know. Time to get a call the expert. I mean, you think the whole bullet went through? Look at that. What do you think, McGowan? Don't use that as cover. So our expert, Gun guy, McGowan said we should tape these together. Just this one time. So I'm gonna tape it together using this bulletproof gaff tape that is made out of Kevlar, will stop bullets. I'm sure there's a big disclaimer right now on the bottom of the screen that says don't listen to Mark. So this will totally stop a bullet. I'm looking out for the media, man. This is gonna be great. Hey, this is gonna work, man. Do not use that Look, I just, as bulletproof look, material. Another layer of tape. The, tape, like the rocket video. The Nothing gaff tape may stop it. Gaff tape may stop it.
All right, totally bulletproof, I knew it. Look at that. Got a little entry route, look, a little teeny weeny, and nothing out the back. What do you think of that? Let's untape it, shall we? This is totally workable. So if you wanna put two transmitters taped up over your heart, right here. Do not put two transmitters taped up over your heart right there. <laughs> this tape is kicking my ass right now. Let's go, look at that, you're prepared. All right, we're almost there. They look perfectly fine. Uh, ooh. All right, so here's the first one. <gasps> Didn't even go through the first one because we had a little bit of backing. <gasps> this may still work. Um, there it is right there. Still do not put two of these over your heart. There's the bullet right there. All right, let's do a lens. Let's see what a lens can do. No. Yeah. You wanna no. do a lens with a camera or just a lens? Let's do a lens first, then we'll put the camera behind the lens. Let's do that. It'll be good. Now this particular lens is L glass. You can tell by the red band, it's a 16 by 35. And when this baby came out, it was one of the sharpest lenses Canon ever made. But sadly, it stopped working and they don't support it and it's an old L glass lens. So it's gonna get the bullet treatment today. Man, I think that was a perfect shot. Good, it's a really good, and I'm actually a master shooter. Okay, let's see here. Look at that. You can totally reuse this housing completely. The bullet went straight down the pipe. Now let's see what comes out here. Just a few parts. It's probably toxic, who knows. But glass is made out of sand. So look, I recycled, it's back to sand. I think the bullet maybe went through, I don't know. It's in there somewhere. What do you think, McGowan? It's still intact. Don't let somebody shoot you with having this in front of you. Stop the bullet, though. It's like, first of all, that was quite the impressive shot. I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> that was nice. But, where is the bullet? It's in there. It must have just it's disintegrated. It's in there someplace. In Let's see if the zoom still works. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, I think the zoom's locked up, but the focus real. Oh, yeah. Send this back to Canon now. Now a camera and a lens. See if I can shoot it straight down the pipe again into the camera. Let's make it happen. We have a Panasonic GH5 that Ron dropped in the water. I was, uh, I have the cameras, you know, pretty close to the pool and my uh, foot just accidentally hit the tripod leg and then doosh, it went. Along with the lens that was attached to the camera as well. Apparently he likes to brick his cameras from time to time, Ron, so, but now we're gonna give it a good burial. Wow. Completely fine. I hit the, dude, that's some really tough glass. Cause it didn't go through this lens. GH5 is totally intact. A little bit of powder, no problem. So I guess now we're just gonna have to figure out. So maybe we shoot the GH5 yeah. Yeah, the GH5 without the lens. Look at that, no worries. Do not use this as cover. Yes, it stopped the You're bullet. You're like a Debbie Downer, man. Every time, not bulletproof. I'm proving to you that it's totally usable. <laughs> All right, let's shoot this. Well. Assembly required after it gets shot. I think you might have to get a new LCD screen. Dude, that's a magnesium body. It's pretty hardcore. Hold on, let me. Oh, gonna, there's a bullet. Let me zoom in here. There's a bullet right in there. Ah. Okay, show the other side. Turn it around. Wow, it didn't even go through. Nope, we cracked it. I mean, you're still gonna have a bad day for sure, but it is bulletproof. So look, let's ask the expert. expert. Look at that, now you have a compact makeup mirror now, uh, a signal device. Stop the bullet. Do not use that as cover, but if that's hanging from your neck and someone's gonna shoot you, feel free to put it there. <laughs> there you go. But just for the record, the bullet 
such a great shot, I didn't even hit the sides of the shutter at all. Matter of fact, the 9mm went perfectly in, never ever touching the edges of anything. It basically went straight down the pipe right where the sensor is. There it is in there. That's a great shot. Yeah. This is the editor in Ukraine right now, trying to edit. And yeah. You're going to put it that way? Yeah. So he's like working behind the computer. All right. So we got a beautiful iMac. Don't ask how I got it. It's broken. It doesn't come on. doesn't work. And you know what? In Ukraine, I'm sure there's an editor edited away in some apartment building. And all of a sudden, the big ass war comes down the block and they start just machine gunning and guns everywhere. And so the editor ducks behind the computer. It's an Apple product. Good product. It'll stop the, it'll stop the bullets. Strong aluminum casing now. Strong aluminum casing. And what we're going to do on this one, which will be fun, Mike and myself are going to do a mag dump. Just like, I don't know, fun, right? Well, yes. yeah, just like a summer, like a bunch of people busted in the room. Yeah. They wouldn't just shoot one shot at you. Nah. Stand by, and fire! Bulletproof, for sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Oopsies, <laughs> could have a headache. What do you think, Mike? Hmm. Not, not to be used as cover. But this little Barely part right here it. is bulletproof. Look at that. That stopped it. Does it stop a nine? Yep. Yep. And it just made some cool dents. Like, who needs design when you can do design by bullet? Look at this. Don't hide behind it. Don't use this as cover. Don't listen to Mark. Just don't. That, that bulletproof right there, that little bit right there. I'll tell you what, Look. for the next one, you're gonna hold that over the chest and I'm gonna shoot at it. <laughs> I'll skip. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, when you're out there making videos, you're gonna get hungry. And in Ukraine, it's all like urban and sometimes you might find yourself in say a grocery store and you had to go get some food for your crew. And all of a sudden the grocery store gets attacked. Can you hide behind the ham aisle? We're gonna find out, cause here's the ham. Will a fully metal jacket bullet go through the ham? What do you think, McGowan? You can hide behind a ham at the grocery store. Don't hide store. behind a ham. Dude, it'll be fine. Don't hide behind this a ham. This is gonna stop a bullet. Don't hide behind, Pretty don't good. listen to Mark. So apparently, hiding behind a ham, said the expert, wasn't gonna work. Well, he was correct, this is just one time. Because there's a little bullet hole right there, Wee! And then out the back it came, and then our dude behind got jacked. And that's full metal jack and bullet. I wonder what happens if we shoot with some hollow tip, or what do you call it, pilgrim lethal. That's not designed to over penetrate. This won't over penetrate? Mm -hmm. They, they, but they're silver, so they they kill werewolves. They kill werewolves. That is werewolves. true. So that's like a super that is duper true. werewolf. So this will go in and not come out the other side. It probably won't even hurt the ham. Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's the not ham. gonna hurt the ham at all. It's gonna hurt the ham it's so freaking much. It's gonna hurt you. Yeah. Well, let's, let's find out. Okay. So super fast, hollow tip ammunition. Um, apparently it's all this energy <laughs> right out the ham. No penetration from last time, but boy, this ham is cooked. Hey, uh, McGowan, um, the, the, the ham really got hurt bad. Yes, that is true. This hurts a lot, oh my God. What did you just shoot me with? What kind of ammo was that? Oh. So that is my expert expert opinion. Yeah. Bad. That is bad. This is more than a scratch. 
Don't get shot with that. I feel duct tape might fix you up. Any exit wound? No. No exit wound? No. Nope. That doesn't make it bulletproof. It does not make a hand bulletproof, so before you start. Bulletproof to hollow tips, bro. No. Just That's saying. just a very advanced bullet. All right, apparently, a few things are bulletproof. Not everything, but most of the stuff here is bulletproof. I can totally protect you. No, Probably. it can't. No, it can't. Yeah. Some stuff, I was very impressed that the lenses actually stopped the bullet. True that. A nine mil FMJ, that was, that was actually pretty cool. Uh, obviously, don't take cover behind an iMac. iMac, bad idea. Good for a lot of stuff. Cover's not one of them, but everything else was pretty cool to see what uh, would go through, what wouldn't, but don't yeah. use it as cover. Yeah. It's well, not that's pretty much, what should you use, Mark? Mike, just reiterate that. Cover is anything that will stop a bullet from hitting you. So, but you got to be behind it. That's got to be able to stop it, like big steel things, you know, or, or dirt. But if Lots you're in a, if you're in a war zone, you know, get a plate, plate carrier, carrier, yeah, and a good one. Stop seven six two by thirty nine, which we should have had. But you know what, Mike? We got to review all this footage back at the studio. But we still have some ammo. What do you think we give the viewers a nice little shooting montage? I'm in. I think they'll enjoy that. And we're back. We did it. Uh, we survived. Uh, some of this gear did not survive. Uh, what, what did we learn here? What, what gear will stop a bullet? Well, I can tell you that uh, what they can't stop a bullet is one radio pack. One radio pack, the little road wireless go-to, no. But the Sarmonic, it went right through there. But if you were to take two, two Sarmonics together, it stopped the bullet. Yeah, and if you hit a bullet with uh, L-Glass, L-Glass will stop a bullet, Even but it will turn it back to powder, original form. Yeah, as soon as it hits the glass, it just, the bullet just turns it to powder. And then this... Uh, you know, cheap uh, Sigma lens here, that helps stop a bullet. Yeah, and then I was impressed with your GH5, my man. The GH5, um, yeah. Look, I mean, you know, you might get slapped in the face with the LCD screen, but if you look there, the bullet got stopped. Yeah. And then what, what about like uh, what you're editing and they so, come in? Yeah, do not take cover behind an iMac computer. Like, oh look, they're coming after me. The bullets go through the iMac. Yeah, kind of like Swiss inch, just cheese. Like, just like butter, just butter right through. Yeah, so, so don't take cover on that. That's what we learned. So, so. And, it, and if you want to, you know, you want to listen to Mike McGowan, the expert we had on the shoot of the shooting. That's right. That day, uh, do not take cover behind any of these things. Make sure if you're going to be out in a wartime situation, you get a jacket with the plates. Plate carrier, flak jacket, bulletproof vest, you know, the proper precautions, because none of these are the proper precaution, none of this. And yeah. just so you know, do not try this at home. Mark is a uh, master shooter, master professional. shooter professional. He's been trained by Mike McGowan, who is also professional and a trainer. So yeah, do not try this at home. We're not telling you to shoot up your gear with bullets. That would be stupid. But so, way fun. It would be fun. It just This was all gear that was broken anyway, so. That's Don't shoot up your gear with bullets. Right, especially if it's working. <laughs> But, um, yeah. but anyways, yeah, don't try it at home. We're trained professionals. All right, yeah. Mostly. That's a wrap, I guess. So Until that's next it. Time. Yeah, so make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. Don't look into some of your eyes open. Because there's no right way or wrong way, there's just my way, which is the right way. Isn't that right?